What's up, YouTube? This is Brennan. Um, it's been a while since I've actually made uh, a sneaker review since really I haven't gotten any new ones uh, in a while. Um, but this is the one on the Dexter's Laboratory uh, MB03 uh, collab that they have going on. Um, this is it. I'm going to open it up straight off the package. really excited about these shoes. I remember I first saw them was like a week or two ago and just how crazy the colors looked and everything just looked amazing and we've all seen Dexter's Laboratory that show on Cartoon Network. Um, straight away this is the box. Um, very unique design. I mean if this doesn't catch your eye I don't know what's going to. Um, and even the really cool part about it on it is the top of the box is clear to where you can actually see um, the shoes inside, which is really cool. Um, not from here is what that says, <laughs> out of this world shoes. You know, crazy awesome colors all around. I mean, this is really gonna be a cool box uh, that you're gonna probably display if, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, there it is right there, Puma on the side. Got the nice Puma logo. And I'm assuming this is the um, the basketball player, I, I can't remember his name, I'm not really into basketball too much, but um, was it Carmelo Ball, something like that, I believe is his name, um, so I'm assuming that's his logo, and then the Cartoon Network, uh, Dexter's Laboratory uh, logo, and as you can see, open it up, it's clear, as I was saying, um, but right, right away, open it up, I mean, these, these shoes are just the whole box, everything, the whole presentation is just, just psychedelic. I mean, I don't really know how other way to, to describe it. Um, it's got a divider in here. These are my first pair of Puma shoes and probably um, the craziest shoes that I've, that I've really gotten because uh, most of the shoes I get are kind of gray, white, black, brown. Um, nothing really too crazy, but for some reason when I first saw these a few weeks ago, uh, or even a week or two ago, I just really really just loved them I don't know what it is I guess they were just so different um but I mean look at this this is truly just a, a one-of-a-kind shoe which um actually brings me to my point I think I was reading that uh, the design on the shoe um is not the same um between other shoes like the actual way the I guess color splash goes how you want to say it so i believe it's unique um with every shoe so you can kind of take these as a one for one of uh every pair that you get um since i guess it would be really hard to copy uh, the exact pattern and hue um between each pair um so these are the two shoes just an absolutely amazing um just how you can get so many colors and everything on here i mean you're gonna wear these you're gonna definitely catch some attention you're not gonna see anything else like this um i mean the material on it it's, it's sort of like the front has this sort of like rubber you can kind of see the outside of it it's sort of like a rubber protective feel and then right here is where you get the actual um like suede material um so that, I guess, is to really protect the front. I heard that's on other basketball shoes as well, which these are my first ever pair of basketball shoes. I've never had a pair of basketball shoes before. Um, the design and the color is just absolutely fantastic. I really like the black here and how it's not just come straight across. It's almost like a splash up of that black. And then you can even see like the blue sort of texture on it. And then on the back, there's the mellow with the Dexter Laboratory, nice little uh, Puma logo, all bright. Still like a little splash, sort of. It almost it almost reminds me of slime. Yeah, is, that's what it reminds me of. And as you can see, like more of the black specks that really just breaks up that black. My favorite part is is this black and white right here. Really good as well with this whole color, almost like a. I guess when I see these, I think of almost like you're in a lab and it's like a, you know, something went wrong and 
then this is what happens to the shoe. I mean, this is, is almost an alien looking shoe. Um, and then on the bottom of these, um, says rare in uh, two different colors. As you can see, rare. Um, one side's pink, the other side's orange. I mean, that's that's really cool. Everything on these shoes is just so different. That's that's really the key takeaway here. I mean, even the um, the pattern, like of the whole bottom of it, is just this like swirly looking thing. There, it is so so amazing. Um, and then the other thing that comes in this box uh, is this little package. This looks to be another pair of laces. Yeah, these are pink laces. Um, I assume if you'd want to replace the black and white ones that are on here. But personally, I think the black and white goes really well with it. It kind of sort of blends in with uh, the black and white of the, the tongue and sole which is pretty cool. Um, but this is how it would look. Let's just pretend these are on here. That's how the pink would kind of look. But personally, I think I'm going to leave the black and white on here. Um, not sure if there's anything to note inside. I believe inside is the basketball player's logo, along with the Dexter's Laboratory logo as well. I mean, oh, and here we go. Even on the front, just more things you discover. It says not from here kind of hidden away little easter eggs um I, I mean this is just unlike any shoe i've ever had and probably unlike uh unlike any other shoe i will ever get because like i said this just absolutely caught my attention um you know i want to probably branch out and, and get something other than just like regular black and white running shoes is mostly what i get and these are it. If you want to make a statement or you just like these and don't, and, and this is really, this is really the thing of it is I'm getting these because I like these. I saw these and for some reason thought they were just the coolest thing. I've never seen anything like it. Now do any of my friends or coworkers when I showed them this is what I bought, they're like, dude, they're like, I mean, you like them, but I'm, I'm not liking it. I don't, that's just crazy. But that's the thing about these shoes. You're getting this because you like it. And simply you don't you know you don't care what anyone else thinks this is the shoe that you like and you wear these you're gonna have that feeling i mean this every single side angle everything different you're gonna find something new crazy on it and like i said even the pattern on it i believe i said was hearing that there it's not even the same between every shoe so it's sort of like every shoe is a one-on-one with these color patterns um like i said it's my first puma one um i haven't put these on my feet yet I, I was seeing for some reason these throughout the week the ratings on it dropped down to like a three out of five stars uh not sure why but uh, maybe it had to do with how they feel on the feet i'm not sure because i haven't walked in these yet you saw me open it but um as for presentation and everything these are fantastic i mean even like this little black you know, little design, which I think is the poom is how I'm gonna do a puma. It, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but even the way it, like kind of the slime like breaks apart, like it's almost breaking away and revealing the black and white underneath, and and it's like little pink, like it is just everything on there is just fantastic. Um, I'm gonna try to put these on my feet really quick and and do a little report on it. All right, so I got these on my feet. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say that putting these on, um, I don't know if these are normally how basketball shoes are, um, but they were really tight to get on. A very snug fit trying to get my foot into these. Um, I am a size 9. I did buy a size 9, um, but I definitely had to kind of push hard to get my feet in these. Uh, once they're in, um, it's not as tight. It's still very snug. Um, compared to other shoes I wear, for sure. Like I said, I don't know if this is a specific thing to basketball shoes, um, but it was very tight getting them on. But once your foot is in, uh, they're definitely not gonna come out, which maybe, actually, you know what, thinking about it, maybe that is a basketball shoe feature because you definitely don't wanna <laughs> slip out of shoes when you're on the court. Um, but this is what they look like on. Personally, I think with black socks, which it's kind of normally what I wear anyway, um, goes pretty well goes pretty well. I mean, the, the dark black sock and then all of a sudden this huge contrast. 
um, standing up does feel uh, does feel pretty good, honestly. Um, I'm really not sure what the uh, bad like reviews are for these. I mean, yeah, they're kind of tight to get in. Like I said, maybe that's a feature of the basketball shoes, but you know, on the feet and everything, they do feel pretty comfortable. So um, I would definitely get a pair. Um, these are definitely going to be for people that really do like it or, you know, collectors. But um, if you like these, if you're into that Dexter's Laboratory show um, or you're just into this design or maybe you like the basketball player, definitely pick up a pair, man. These are very unique. Um, but I believe they were $135. I'll drop a, drop a link below. I don't know if they're going to be sold out or not. Um, but... I would definitely recommend getting these because these are going to be like unlike any pair that you've ever probably worn and will ever buy. <laughs> I don't see any shoes trying to replicate this. So, um, yeah, definitely note. Uh, let me know what you think. See ya.